Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Now, um, I uh, have been uh, posting videos about my fast cooking system uh, for the past two years. Uh, the main goal of uh, this video channel is to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines. Uh, we all know how challenging it is to find time uh, to cook on a regular basis. The only solution that to make home cooking feasible is to make home cooking as efficient, as practical, and at the same time, creative and fun. And this is the reason uh, why I have developed a cooking system to achieve this goal. Now, I call this cooking system the FAST cooking system. Now, the term FAST is the acronym for the four attributes of this cooking system, uh, which stand for flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. Now, the, the cooking system is based on the fact that stir frying is an excellent cooking technique because of its speed. When you combine it with uh, advanced prepping, then you have a mechanism that allows you to cook uh, a meal in less than 30 minutes all from scratch using all fresh ingredients. Now, when it comes to advanced prepping, one thing which uh, I strongly propose is that to use as many common ingredients that you can in cooking various type of dishes. Now, in this video, uh, I have an example that using spaghetti noodles. Now, most people think of spaghetti noodles that use primary for making spaghetti noodles. But, of course, that is not really uh, true because noodles are all noodles. Uh, in fact, you can use uh, any noodles for any type of dishes, although there is a tradition. In this case, uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can make spaghetti noodles uh, to suit many different types of cooking needs. In here, use spaghetti noodles up to cook a Chinese chow mein noodle dish. And as I demonstrate to you in this video, is by having spaghetti noodles available to you, uh, you can use it to cook many different types of noodle dishes. And the end result is that uh, you will find this versatility will give you tremendous amount of advantage of uh, make home, cook home cooking efficient and make it as practical as possible uh, because now by using the same common ingredients, the end result is that you will have much greater diversity you can create with only few items. In here uh, is two pounds of spaghetti noodles. Now what you can do is that instead of cook just uh, a small portion for a particular meal, you can cook all the two pounds of spaghetti noodles. And in this case, I cook it in a wok, which is perfect for this purpose. Um, and then after you cook them, you can store them in plastic containers. Now, it turned out that when you store them in plastic containers for over uh, 24 to 40 hours, they're perfect uh, for making a uh, chow mein. However, it is important that you store the noodles for 40 hours before you use it. Uh, this will dry out the noodles to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the wok. So here, I'm going to start out by first fry the noodles in my Cuisina 14-inch stainless steel wok. I start out with about uh, two and a half tablespoons of uh, cooking oil. Uh, I use canola oil and you can use any oil that you would like. Now, for this dish, it is important you season the wok. Since I use a stainless steel wok, I season the wok each time before I cook. And I uh, use my method, which is known as spot seasoning, which will allow me to season the wok to guarantee me to have a non-stick cooked surface. Now, after um, the wok has been seasoned, uh, I put the spaghetti noodle directly into the wok. Now, in here, I use a pair of tongs initially. Uh, when you cook noodles, uh, a tongs would be very useful than compared to a wok spatula. So, I strongly uh, recommend you to have a, a pair of stainless steel tongs on hand, uh, which is useful not just for only cooking noodles, but for cooking many other things. Uh, once you have the noodles in the wok, you separate them and you try to lay it out on the surface of the wok. You toss it so that you can have all the noodles uh, covered with oil. Uh, this will prevent them from uh, sticking. Uh, next, I switch to a 
on my wok spatula, which is easier uh, for me to manipulate the, the noodles and move them around in the wok. Uh, I'm going to fry them uh, slightly after they reach a golden brown color. And this takes about somewhere between four to uh, five minutes, depending on how much you want to um, cook them. And then I transfer them and add them to the dish later. And next, I'm going to cook the chicken to uh, make a chicken chow mein. Uh, since the wok just has been cooked with the noodles, uh, they're already well seasoned. So I cook directly uh, the chicken in it without actually washing the wok. Now, I cook the chicken first uh, with uh, cornstarch. And uh, this will uh, allow me to do what is known as shallow frying. Uh, I will fry the chicken lightly on one side uh, to give a nice crispy texture. Uh, this is a method that will keep the chicken moist and tender inside. Uh, the cornstarch will also create a light breading on the surface of the chicken. And now the chicken about 50% done, uh, I'm going to add some frozen Chinese uh, Asian vegetable mix. Uh, this is a frozen vegetable. And on top of that, I also add some uh, fresh zucchini. Now this is a method is to combine whatever I have on hand. Now uh, I am short of uh, my advanced prepping, but I still have some uh, zucchini. And I decided that I'm going to uh, create this uh, vegetable medley uh, by using some frozen vegetable. I take the frozen vegetable directly out from the freezer without thawing them. And this turned out to be the best way uh, to maintain the texture of the frozen vegetable uh, without having them get uh, mushy. Uh, so uh, this is a good method to make use of a combination. Again, you want your cooking to be practical and efficient. And a lot of time, you just take whatever that is available to you and make the best out of it and to create a dish that you might enjoy. Now, next, I am going to add some uh, uh, white mushroom. Again, uh, I have some white mushroom on hand. This provides me another vegetable uh, to add to this dish. I use a combination, both frozen vegetable and fresh vegetable. And this is demonstrate to you the flexibility of the cooking system. You don't have to use everything fresh depend on what you have on hand. Uh, here I have some of the food ingredients uh, stuck to the bottom of the wok. Uh, so what I do is that I'm going to put a small amount of water right over the surface that where I have food stuck and perhaps burned to the surface of the wok. And then I use the wok spatula uh, to scrape them off. Now I call this method a spot cleaning because I'm cleaning the wok right as I cook. Now this method has many advantages. One is that uh, it makes the wok easier to clean later on. Uh, at the same time, uh, I'm able to get the flavor back to the dish because a lot of time this burnt material has great flavor. Now I'm going to season the dish with a combination of uh, two tablespoons of oyster sauce with one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. And then I'm also going to add one tablespoon of teriyaki sauce. Uh, after I season the dish with sauces, I'm going to add two more vegetables uh, to the dish. I'm going to add some green pepper and also some cherry tomatoes. Uh, both are served as garnish for the dish. Uh, they will give the dish some nice color as well as uh, provide freshness to the dish. Now you notice that I add the different ingredients uh, to the dish uh, in a certain order. I always add the ingredients that I need to cook longer first and then those ingredients, I only want to cook it for a very short time. I add them toward the end. Uh, this is a method called sequential stir frying. Uh, this will allow you to cook all the ingredients just right. Uh, the final step in cooking this dish uh, is to make sure that you mix the noodle well uh, with the ingredients in the wok. And the goal is that you want to coat the noodles with the sauces in the dish. Uh, this will give the noodles good flavor. And at this point, the best way to mix everything in the wok uh, is to use a pair of uh, a stainless steel tongs that I have before. And this will give the best approach in mixing them. At this point, I also do a taste test because I want to make sure uh, the flavor is exactly how I like it. 
And the nice thing about stir frying is that you can change the flavor of the dish on the fly. And in here, uh, if I want it to be more salty, I can add a little bit more soy sauce. I can also add some hot chili oil or hot chili sauce if I want the dish to take on a spicy flavor. Uh, cooking this dish is very fast. Uh, basically, uh, it takes only about uh, 10 minutes to cook the dish, uh, including frying the noodles and then uh, cooking everything together. It takes about 10 minutes to thaw out the chicken. Uh, total time from the time I walk in the kitchen to the time I serve the dish is about 20 minutes. And it makes a, a very nice um, chow mein dish. And when you think about uh, the nutritional value in this dish with the different kinds of vegetables in it, uh, it is uh, far superior than you would go for fast and processed food. And the dish is delicious and very tasty. It provides uh, as good as you would order out. Um, I post a video each day uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your uh, daily routine. And my goal is that to make home cooking as efficient, practical, creative, and fun as possible. If you want to learn more about this cooking system, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.